Tonight it is my privilege to introduce to you my good friend Trevor Reese Jones. Trevor is a businessman of extraordinary vision and daring. He's an entrepreneur whose efforts have not only helped transform the U.S. energy industry, they've unlocked new supplies of energy which are transforming our nation and the world for the better. Trevor's also a remarkable citizen who has spent his life giving to others. His faithful service began in scouting and led to the rank of Eagle Scout. Today, through the generosity of their philanthropy, he and his wife Jan bring hope to children in need, both here and abroad. Trevor is an outstanding inductee to the Texas Business Hall of Fame. Welcome, Trevor Reese Jones. It's possible that Trevor Reese Jones' career is a result of serendipity. After all, if it weren't for the clients he represented as a bankruptcy attorney for the oil and gas industry, his story might be completely different. So in 1984, he left the law firm behind and took off to drill for oil. When I uh, left the law firm where I was working in, went into the oil and gas business, I say went into the oil and gas business, I, I had to create my job. I mean, I didn't join another firm. I just went out as a little independent, putting deals together on my own. In his search for that big oil boom, the wells came up dry. Fortunately for me, when I went into the oil and gas business, I was single, and it was only me. So um, if I was gonna uh, you know, set anybody on fire, it was myself. I did get pretty proficient at setting myself on fire for probably 10 years or better in oil and gas business. But uh, fortunately, I didn't burn myself up completely, and I was able to live uh, to fight another day. His perspective remained intact, and in 1999, years of perseverance and hard work finally paid off. We noticed Mitchell had moved on from the Bing conglomerates and was running four drilling rigs trying to make the Barnett Shale work. This was an unconventional reservoir being a shale that held a tremendous amount of, of natural gas reserves and if he could only figure out how to frack that rock and get that gas, there was a tremendous resource base to produce. And we were fortunate to be there and shift our attention to Barnett Shale in 1999 and uh, the rest is history. It's, it's completely revolutionized a, a you know, 150 year old business. His remarkable accomplishments in the Barnett Shale field catapulted his career to historical levels. He controls the activity of millions of oil and gas acres throughout the United States. He uh, listens and I think he uh, has great judgment in making business decisions and, um, and he's, he's curious. He's always trying to figure out how he can do something better. He is passionate about the integrity of the oil and gas business and its positive impact on our lives. The technological improvement, the different experimentation with, with techniques over time is just going to extend the viability of what we have been doing over the last 10 years even further. So the job opportunities and other rewards and benefits that are associated with Shale Revolution, I believe, have a long time to run. He and his wife, Jan, extend their good fortune to others through the Reese Jones Foundation. To whom much has been given, much is required. And uh, we take that very seriously. We believe that uh, as a result of our financial success that we have an obligation and a responsibility to help those in need. Uh, I use the phrase, the gift without the donor is an empty gift because it's really a transaction between human beings. And so here is a man who has uh, all of the money to insulate himself from being a part of that gift, yet he chooses to go out and meet the people and see what they're doing with the money so that he is a part of that gift. We are both very involved, and she is even more involved 
hands-on than I am. And it's our hope that our two sons, who are currently 25 and 22 years old, become very interested and wish to carry on the work we've begun for many years ahead. That feeling for humanity is really a special quality that goes into being successful in life as well as in business. I think he is the happiest when he's with his family and also with his friends, but uh, he puts his family first and I think that's uh, reflective of, of who he is as a person in his heart. He is uh, honest and straightforward and uh, if, if I had to be in a foxhole with someone, I'd want to be with Trevor. He'd cover you all the way and I trust him greatly.